Good morning and welcome to Games and Breakfast, the show that introduces you to new games and the time it takes for you to eat a bowl of cereal. I'm Alex and today we've got Dead Cells. Let's get started. I got myself my Dead Man's Bag. Here's all the things I've unlocked already. I haven't played this game in a while. They've had a lot of good updates to it. Alright, so I got the Spartan Sandals. I'm not going to take that. I got an Electric Whip. That might be okay. And what do I use for my Y? Do I use a shield? You know what? I'm going to take the Sandals for my Y ability here so I can just kick doors open. That's always exciting. Alright. So this is Dead Cells. It's a roguelike. You try and get as far as you can. It's um, it's all about skill. The shoe, well, the, the, the shoe is all about knocking people in the walls and stuff. Um, really high skill cap game. It's all about getting better, perfecting the runs. This is a game I would like to cover on uh, on Rogue Running. Um, of course, you can't play with music. It has a ton of licensed music in it, which is kind of annoying. But because the music's actually good, um, but can't record it on YouTube, so we got no music. But the game honestly is a lot of fun. Um, it's super smooth. The one thing that I hope that you're getting from this is that, like it, the graphic style, everything works together so wonderfully. Um, it just plays great. The the uh, the communicative ability of like like your, your controller feels like it's connected to the game in a way that's rare. Um, I know that sounds weird to say, but like the controls are just unbelievable. They're just so tight. It's so responsive. Actually, the only thing that's not particularly responsive by design are the sandals, which I'm using. Um, oh, I can move on to the toxic sewers. What I perhaps would rather do is actually explore a little more. Um, let's go over here. The game actually does reward you for going as fast as you can. Uh, there's uh, special gates that you can go across if you're speed running, so to speak. Not necessarily speed running, but if you're going fast, uh, you are rewarded with extra loot and stuff like that. It kind of offsets, because like, if you go slower and you're doing what I'm doing, where like you, you know, you're kind of you're really. Um, I want the. I need the. Help back. If you're kind of really exploring to find more loot and find more boxes to, and to get more, uh, more souls and stuff like that, then. Yeah, you're going to find more stuff. So see, I can buy something right now. What do I want? I want the fire grenade for sure. And you know what? I just might get this too. So we have two grenades. Left and right trigger. Perfect. But yeah, so the speed running is offset by obviously going slow. And the result of that is that I get a chance to find more stuff. Alright. Okay, oh! There's an ability unlock here. Alright, so I got mostly red, so I should increase my brutality. No, oh, I gotta... Oh, you know what? I don't... Mm, do I want the... Do I want that? It's basically like a trap. You know what? No, I'm gonna go without the trap for now. The two grenades I have now are pretty good. Alright, trying to see what else I can find here. I could go back to the... Oh, this is a little lower area. Sometimes there's little hidden things here. But mostly it's just kind of a night. It gives you a chance to, to kind of look into the lure. Hey, I got some gold. Gold's not a major factor for me right now. I, I don't get particularly far in the game. It gets hard fast. Hey, I can pay and get something here. Oh, knife dance. I've never seen that before. That must be relatively new. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab it. What do I want to replace? I'm going to replace the infantry grenade. What's it do here? Oh, cool. It's like a fan of knives. Neat. Alright, we apply some uh, some burning there. I gotta try and uh, reduce the cooldown of my, my grenades, I think. There we go. Got some gold. Alright, so we're almost about done. Next time I see a transport, um, a portal, sorry, a transportation. Oh, look at that! Electrocuting the water to, to give uh, damage to the enemies. I hadn't really realized you could do that. Okay, what do I want to do here? I gotta stick with the red. I gotta do more more damage with the red items. It's almost all I have here. There we go. Combo up on my um, my grenades there. Oh, that was I meant to dodge. I don't know what I did there. That guy did some damage to me. The one thing about this game is you really do want to avoid unnecessary damage. Alright, I'm gonna go to toxic sewers. I'm just is not a particularly skilled filled run. I'm out of practice. What can I say? I meant to do just an introduction for you guys. I would love to do this on Rogue Running though. It's, it is a really good game, honestly. It's one of my favorite roguelikes. Oh, I needed to do that a lot faster than I did. 
Kill 30 enemies without taking damage. Well, I've not done that. And, yeah. So, I was a little too slow. Hey! What can I buy here? I only have 11 cells. I mean, I can put it into something. What do I want to put it into? Do I want to put it into the flammable oil sword? Or the impaler? Frantic sword. These are pretty new items. I'm going to go with the... Quick bow. Apparently, I was trying to unlock that before, so we will put some cells into the quick bow. And we'll move on, because I don't know how much longer I'm going to last. Oh, reforge. I can upgrade some some things here. Okay, I like I like this here. So what I'll do? Oh, it's only level one. Okay, let's give it let's give it an upgrade here. So okay, they get toxic when they die. All right, let's see what I got here. All right, cool. And let's see, I can mutate here. So, I think I want to stick with the reds. There's no... Actually, you know what? What should I do? Avoid death once? No. I like the idea of healing after... Um, if you're close to a deployment skill... What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to reduce the, uh, the cooldown on my skills. I think that's valuable, especially considering um, I'm using grenades quite a bit. Let's go to the toxic sewers. The three minutes and twenty-one seconds—that's kind of slow. Um, you, I'm sure, if you uh, you're interested in seeing speed runs in this game, you can certainly find them. As you're probably used to by now, you're not going to see too much high talent gameplay here. But this game is just fun. I like it. I like having fun with this game. Oh, that's an enemy that I'm not sure. About. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can climb this thing. Hadn't really expected that. There we go. I didn't want the sandals, and they're doing the most work. Alright, let's do our teleportation. Alright, that is an unlockable ability. Got a roll here. Okay, throwing knife. I'll take it. I'll switch it up for the electric whip. Let's see here. And you know what? I'm actually going to switch the electric whip for the sandals. I'm not a huge fan of the sandals, I don't think. The nice thing about the knives, they inflict uh, bleeding damage. So you can kind of stack that. Like once you kind of start to min-max the game a bit, you can um, you can stack certain abilities. Like some items will do more damage to enemies with bleeding uh, status effects uh, as well. Oh, those are little grenade things. Got to keep moving. Oh no! I did pretty good to avoid that, I think. And he should die there. Oh, how did he not die? Oh no, I'm taking lots of damage. I probably shouldn't be. Out of practice. Some grenade guns here. Let's climb up. Oh no, how did he? I was not expecting to get hit there. Uh oh, how do I move? How do I get over there? I can't be stuck here. Now oh, there we go. I am almost dead. All right, let's see what I can do. Oh no, I need that. Give me a little boost of health by increasing my percentage. All right, so I can get 26% health. I think I need to go with the 70 here. So I got more health, but well, I was already pretty damaged. Okay, what's in there? Whoa! I was not expecting that. That was rude. Poor guy just flipped them off. Oh, a lot of transport. Teleport portals. Um, that looks like something I can hit. I'm not too sure what that is. It looks like a room of some sort. I think that was a f oh, and good night. I lost three cells. I didn't lose very much. So basically, when you die, um, you lose whatever cells you're holding that you hadn't invested, and you reanimate. You roll on over here, and one of the things that I've unlocked is the ability to kind of, kind of maintain a stash of gold I've collected. So here, dead man's bag. That's what I was carrying when I died. And I was carrying 3,798 coins. These are all the things above here that I've unlocked um, with the uh, with kind of the the souls that I've collected. I'm calling them souls for some reason. I'm forgetting what they're actually called. Um, and well, that's more or less dead cells. Um, 
it's a nice introduction to the game. I will uh, do a series on it later on where I kind of explore deeper in. But this gives you an idea what it's all about. It's about dying, starting again, and going as fast as you can to uh, to the end there. I shouldn't say as fast as you can, but um, it's all about the, the journey. And as you can see, there's lots to unlock. I've only unlocked a very, very slim uh, number of things. As always, thank you for watching and have yourself an absolutely wonderful day.